Hey guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and deploy our next CS application to Heroku. So our application is in the front end folder, so right here. So I'm gonna stop the server and if we do an ls, you can see we have all our next files. So what we need to do here is make sure this is a git repository. So what we wanna do is go to GitHub and create a repository and connect it to, to Heroku. So here I'm gonna create a new repository. So let's create let's call it cm next i said cm next but i did sm next who cares anyway so i'm just gonna copy this text i'm just gonna copy these default commands and just replace them inside the front end folder so that's gonna go ahead and push a, a readme file here so we, we want to push all the code now the git project that next just sets up actually ignores all the env files and also these modules files and dot next files so what we wanna do now is push all the code so i'm just gonna push i'm just gonna add all of them and then push them so git commit minus m add all code let me push it so git push and that should update on github so what we wanna do in heroku we wanna go heroku.com you wanna have an account of course you wanna be able to log in then you're gonna have a button to create a new app so we're gonna create a new app this time it's gonna be cm next yes like this let's create it create app so once it comes what we want to do is click github on the deploy section then we want to connect it to github if you haven't connected your github account it's gonna give you a button to connect then you can authorize Heroku to access your account so once that's done then you want to connect your repo so i'm gonna put sm sure it's gonna come up so this is it i'll click connect and it's gonna go ahead and sh give us more options where we can customize deployment here so we want it to deploy every time we make a new change so we want to click on enable automatic deploys forget the ci one it doesn't matter so much because you're not using the heroku ci so then you want to deploy branch so this since this is what contains our main code heroku is going to be running the yarn build command and since we want nextjs to fetch data at build time we want to make sure that it's connecting to the right api so here if i run yarn build it's gonna go ahead and do some some checks so first off you're gonna see that it fails because we have an issue in inside underscore document.js so we want to correct it so this is just a linting issue jsx issue so once you correct it we can run again so we're gonna do yarn build notice that it fails because it can't make a request to the local host so what we want now is to update our application to point to the remote url our remote url is gonna be this so this is what we want to have now so i'm going to go to the front end.env and replace this on the back end we need to enable cores for this front end to connect to it we want to enable this front end to make cross origin requests to our server so i'm going to go and update our back end code to also accept the front end so i'll just go to the back end then go to the settings py where we had cores allowed origins we can add our new front end urls all right let's move the trading slash now that we've updated our backend code, let's go ahead and push it to GitHub just so it deploys again, such that by the time we deploy the front end, the backend will have updated. So backend git add commit minus m update cause list. Let's push it. okay so that's good so on our front end so on our front end okay so for now we just want to make sure that our remote is update up to date so let's just do git add commit push okay okay so now once we come back to heroku so let's click deploy branch again and also let's uncheck wait for ci so it's gonna go ahead and do a, a new install for dependencies it should run here and build let's wait for it only absolute URLs are supported yeah so you can see that it failed here and that's because we have not set the we have not set an environment variable for our api so if you go to env local we need to set this in heroku so i'm going to copy this and go to settings then we want to go to key so for the key it's gonna be that i'm just gonna copy the value 
actually cut so that's gonna be the key then the value is gonna be this one I'll click add and go back to deploy and trigger a redeploy again so I'll deploy branch again okay so this time you can see it's finished successfully and you can click on view so when you click on view you can see we have our next year's app and it's on Heroku you can even click here and it goes to the detail page so now we have our static app that's built on top of Django and next and it's live on the live you guys can even check out this thing I promise you it's gonna work so that's gonna do it for this video so in the next one I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up Google Analytics with the next year's projects just so we can track who is visiting this app just so I can see you guys when you try to visit the, that thing okay yeah so we're gonna be starting here in the next one thanks for watching subscribe I'll talk to you later